if this difference is, is k times h or something like k times h, then it says that the function is growing like, like k times faster than it's moving in moving in the vertical direction. So basically if we do some shift here by h, then we make this difference of size k times h. Yeah. So this function is when when the derivative of uh, of fx is is um, k, then it uh, says that f x is approximately k times uh, f x plus h. It's approximately k times uh, k times h plus f x close enough. To to x, yeah. So so this um, this x h x plus h has to be has to be very close. Uh, otherwise, this approximation is not very accurate. And uh, like, how much accurate is it? This really depends on on the behavior of this limit. Yeah. So so we we can't we can't say much. But uh, really, like if if you're close enough, if you're Arbitrary. If you let's say if if you want to if you want to bound this error, you want to get it smaller and smaller. You just need to get very close close to the point, and you will get quite quite nice approximation. So actually, what holds is that if you if you take a derivative, then this is the best linear approximation on the close surrounding of the of the point x. So no linear function. If you if you put a linear function in a different way like this, it always will create a larger error on some on some small small neighborhood. Yeah, we will we will uh, talk about this uh, in more details at uh, the lecture on Tyrus point on Tyrus point on meal. But um, so uh, like uh, in in so so uh, before we can we can make Tyrus polynomial, we need some basic tools to to speak about derivatives because Tyrus polynomial it will be will be about deri derivatives. Uh, so so first first thing is that this this derivative. Uh, if if the function is is uh, nice in such a way that uh, the, this this limit is always defined, then this this thing uh, defines um, defines a function. So so this is this is another function. If f is uh, differentiable, and what it what it really means is that. Um, Basically, uh, you can you can derive the function in in every every point. So this is this is the meaning of the of the word differentiable. So if the function is differentiable, it has to be uh, continuous. But this is this is not enough because you can have function like this, which has like this uh, this change of the of the this like sharp change. And in this case, if if you like if you very close here, this derivative is like decreasing. Now the function is decreasing, so the derivative is is also in another in another way, not the tangent, but it could also be described as the rate of the change of the function around the point x. So this this approximation says that around the point x, the function changes like k times h. Yeah, so linearly changes, and the k if the k is positive, of course. Then, then the uh, function is increasing. If the k is negative, the function is decreasing. So here is decreasing. The derivative is negative. Here is uh, positive. Is increasing. But what, but what here from the left, the, the limit is, is negative, and from the right, the limit is positive. So there is no limit, no limit, and the derivative is not defined. So, oh, no, this differentiable is is a stronger stronger condition. But if the function is differentiable, then f prime is also continuous. Yeah, so uh, basically, you can't have some some discontinuity here, and uh, you can you can you can prove that. But um, I'm, I'm not going not going to do uh, to do these things, and maybe I can make uh, can make some uh, future video about about these uh, differentiable functions in, in more details. But um, but let's 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 believe all, all these all these properties here. Okay, so. Um, so we have we have uh, defined derivative and and there is uh, there is a few useful tools and one of them is uh, theorem of of uh, Roe, which uh, says the following. Okay, so suppose that I have a function which is continuous and differentiable everywhere inside of some close interval. So so let's say f 
is uh, continuous on coast interval AB F is let's say differentiable inside of AB so um, and uh, one more thing F A is equal FB so um, I, should, I should draw a picture for that but uh, so, so basically basically what what, what we have is uh, is is that uh, we have we have a, we have a function which is here is value of a here is value of B the function is continuous so it behaves like this and it's differentiable inside so there are no no sh no uh, sharp changes of the of the function okay so so what what it claims there then there exists some point C inside of of this of this open interval such that derivative inside on the on point C is equal to zero so there exists some point in which the tangent line is is horizontal so this is this is point C yeah so F C here is equal to zero the tangent line is horizontal I can maybe see the points like like this in 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 this in this case these points are nothing else than the extremes if, if the point is extreme extreme minimum or maximum inside then we know that that this the tangent line uh, or we will see actually that the tangent line has to be has to be horizontal like this yeah, so it's not possible that it will somehow go go upward up and down yeah so so um, so we are going to to prove it prove prove it in in in, in this way so so the proof is using that um theorem on on extremas yeah so uh, the the proof proof is using because we know that that our function is continuous then we know that there exists some maximum and some minimum the minimum or maximum could still be the endpoint of the function fa or fb but either the function is continuous and uh, the is constant it has only only one value and then we are fine or it has some value above or some value under the fa or fb so it's either, it's either like this or like this or maybe both of them so at least one of the minimum or maximum is different from fa or fb okay so mm -hmm. so so maximum or minimum is uh, different from a and, and b okay so suppose uh, that, that, that we are in the case of maximum again but if if it's minimum the argument is exactly the same okay so suppose that uh, there exists uh, c such that f c is maximum yeah so so inside of, of a b so this so this is this is this the global maximum it could uh, actually local maximum would be sufficient but we are in, we are really happy with this let's say let's say this this point is zero this this global maximum here okay so so what we just need is to show that derivative has to be has to be um, zero around this point so uh, since uh, the function is differentiable then we know that the derivative exists so derivative is is this is this limit so so derivative inside point c is limit from h going to zero of f c plus h minus f c over h so so this this limit here and since f c is maximum yeah then this thing is always smaller or equal to f c so this this uh, nominator nominator of of this state of this uh, of this limit is always non 
uh, positive. Okay, so it's smaller or, or equal zero. So it's always more or equal zero. So if H is negative, then this is positive. Yeah, we have like maximum. If we have maximum here, so if H is negative, then we know that the, the limit is, is always positive. These derivatives are always positive, and if H is is positive. And we know that the, the, the derivatives are always negative down, but they have to match on 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 C. So we have from the left we have we have negative values, and from the right we have positive values. So inside of H, they have to be at the same time non-negative and non-positive. So they have to be zero. So so f of C is zero, and then this this concludes this concludes the proof of of the of the Ross theorem. So, so this is this is very useful thing because basically, uh, just for knowing that you have two points inside of continuous differentiable function, then you know something about derivative. Yeah. So, uh, this is this is uh, this is very useful. But um, so so we will we will uh, basically we will use we will use this this theorem of of. Uh, of to to prove more complicated things and, and build uh, Tyros uh, polynomial using them. But uh, let me first show you show you one one consequence of, of the of the um, yeah uh, of basically uh, Rolle's theorem, which uh, yeah it should, it should be it should be provided by that. Okay, so suppose that I have a function f somehow defined on a and b and suppose that a uh, derivative f prime of uh, x is always zero for every x inside of a and b then it implies that f is constant on a b okay so suppose that we will take two points C and D inside A and A and B. Yeah, so we will take two points, two points there. So what we what we know uh, is it's Hmm. Actually, actually, this uh, this thing will be probably uh, better to better to be uh, proved. Um, sorry, sorry. I uh, I will postpone this. Postpone this for a second. We need we need one more one more consequence of of the of uh, of the Rolle's theorem to to prove this. So so I will, I will return to it to it just in a second then. And we will need we will need this uh, so this this theorem called called uh, mean theorem for for the derivatives. And it says uh, of how it says a very simple thing. Let's suppose that that I have f uh, a and f b. And the function is again continuous and differentiable, continuous on, on this on this interval and differentiable inside, whatever. So so this is the same the same the same conditions. But in this case, it does not have to be that the endpoints are are the same. So so we are in this in this situation that f a and f b is here, and we have like this this nice curvy function like this, and the statement is. And okay, so take this this connect this line connecting a and b. A is some tangent r, and the statement is that there is a point. There exists c inside of a and b, uh, such that such that f derivative of c is equal to r. So, so there is some point C such that if you put put uh, put a put a tangent line, then then the derivative is is exactly the same thing. So it's exactly exactly this R from from this point F C. So so how to how to show this? And 
somehow if you, if you 